I wanted to get going, parked up. I've just left Horton in Ribblesdale, in the Yorkshire Dales, and we've just entered over the railway lines onto the first footpath. That peak there is Penny Ghent. We're doing today's Yorkshire Three Peaks. This is my return to the Yorkshire Dales, and we're doing it in reverse order. And it's a beautiful day. Let's get this done. We have got, I've done about half a mile. So we've got 24 miles ahead of us. So we've got our watch on. So this is gonna be a good test. It's so pretty. Oh. So yes, this is my Yorkshire Three Peaks video. What's the date today? So today is Sunday the 28th, the 28th of May. Massive contrast in weather to when I did this in January, several years ago, and we bombed because of the weather. So at the moment, I think it's lambing season. You've got to be really careful. I'm talking as if I'm a professional fell runner. Tactics for today. Plan A. Plan A is finish. Get it done. I'd like to do it in under 10 hours. We're gonna tackle Ingleborough, the first peak. Look at the scenery. Beautiful. I'm never gonna get it under 10 hours if I keep touristing like this. So let's go, let's do this. This is brutal. I'm gonna turn an ankle here. Looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. I'm from Bermondsey, South East London, is where I was born until I moved out when I was 18. So seeing terrain like this has really made me giddy with excitement. It's so much fun. We're now on the climb to the first peak, Inglebar. There's some ants in the distance climbing, people climbing up to the uh, first peak. That looks pretty steep. <laughs> that. I hope you can see the gradient. It's very hard without perspective. How about this review? Oh. It's just a sheer drop. Now. Morning. No, I came from uh, Horton. Yeah. Yeah. Camp here overnight. How was it? Are 
you camping the three peaks? No, no, no. Oh, you're just doing it. You do it for a laugh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fun though. It's better than the travel lodge. <laughs> well, enjoy the rest of your day. It's so windy up here. So we're at the top of peak one, done. Look at this view. So let's head down. Look, this is all cloud cover. I'm in the clouds. I've never been in the clouds before. Morning. Morning. Oh my, oh my God, it's so steep. <laughs> so that's where we're going. Down there, up to Wernside, and then back down. Oh man, worst case scenario has just happened. We're running over boggy ground. I say worst case, no, it's not. I can think of a lot worse but I've got wet feet. My left foot is drenched. I just plunged it into a bog because I thought I'd be clever and run off of the uh, concrete slabs or stone slabs, give my knees a break. Oh man, I regret doing that. No moaning, we got this. I have no idea of distance. Literally the only thing on my watch is the map. Sit rep. We are starting our climb up to Wernside. We've done the village that's between Inglebarra and what well, I forgot the name of it. That's between these two peaks. Uh, yeah, that was good. I ran that. <sighs> ran that pretty quick. Get over this in a good time. So far, so good. We're doing very well. So that is Wernside, up here. That's where we're going, over the top of that. It's very windy. Morning. Do you know where the official top is? Is it up there? Yeah, I oh, I've missed it. it. Yeah. It's, uh, the, 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 it's tucked behind the wall, apparently. Oh, I've missed it, yeah. yeah I walked yeah. straight past it. Yeah, yeah. All that effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good luck, guys. Morning. I walked past the top without even getting a selfie. I didn't realise it was there. <laughs> right, sit rep. I'm going to try and fucking cower from the wind. Um, I've messed up. That's the top there. And I've walked straight past it. I didn't even see it. So... Yeah, done it. Peak two done. Oh, I'm so pleased. That's two down, one to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's do this. Let's do this. I forgot to have an energy gel. I'm gonna do that now. Morning mate, you're right. So this is exactly the spot that myself and my two work colleagues called it a few years ago when it was absolutely chucking it down. Cut to that moment. So, on our way down to the viaduct, I can see the viaduct and now I'm going to change my socks because I got them wet. It's the tunnel we were hiding under from the rain. <laughs> I 
think it's called the Ribble Viaduct. It's the viaduct halfway, or well, over halfway, I think now. I've got 16k left to go. So yeah, over halfway. I've got peanut butter bagel. Half a bagel, peanut butter. I'm struggling to eat it, if I'm honest. So I feel like I need to do a sit rep. My legs are fried, those climbing. It was Wernside, climbing up Wernside. It was like a workout. We're still on for a good time, very good time. Happy, not complaining. It's been great. Weather's been fantastic. We're just coming up to the climb up to Penny Ghent. And then it's a short, it's a short, short jog back to the car and then we're done. Uh, refill water, but I've drunk most of it. Um, I've stayed pretty well hydrated. I've eaten all my energy bars. Um, yeah. Oh, we're just finishing the climb. Look at this view. So I wanted to just say, we've got a 5k cheeky park run left, but we haven't. I missed it. We've got four and a half k. Nice one, cheers. More steps. <laughs> Peak three, done. I'm not gonna hang about here, I'm gonna head straight down. I'm on for a good time. Okay, 4K, back to the start line. Oh, I've got a really steep bit, I remember this bit from last time. So I've got a bit of a scramble to climb down, but that's fine. And then we're done, easy. I feel so good. My legs don't, but I just feel so happy. What an achievement, what an achievement. Yeah, so less than 4K now, back to the car park and then home. What's his name? Coco. Coco. He's 16. I've had him three years. Look and at that. You probably got a, you probably got yourself a uh, a record of some kind. The only parrot to have done the free peak. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're on the first one. Fair play. Well done to you. No problem. I'll see you later, bud. It's just farmers' fields now. It's downhill. The downhill hurts as much as the uphill. My calf muscles are screaming. 2k left, nice and flat over farmer's fields with a gradual descent into Horton in Ribblesdale, where the car's parked. Oh my God, I'm trying to run. This is me running. Oh, give over with the scrambles, look. Oh, I'm done with this. Forty meters. Thanks. I thought I recognised you. <laughs> Here we go. And we're here. Done. Hang on. Course complete. I just got to find my car now. Got the 
state of my bonnet. My state of my hair. That's like the least of your worries right now. Yeah, it is. Okay, done. Hang on, what was my time? What was my time? What was my time, Mad? Um, the time was... 2.04. So <laughs> what, is that time I finished? Yeah. The other two members of my support crew, aka my family, Scott of the Antarctic and Bear Grylls, they've, uh, they decided to come and meet me on the first, on the, on the last peak, or Penny Ghent. Uh, but... Because you needed water, so they went up with water Yeah, you. but they've missed me. And somehow, they're, they're not even up there, they've only made it they're so half, far. half an half, hour away. Yeah, less, le they're not half an hour, they will be here in a minute. I did that in eight hours and 18 minutes. Eight hours, 17 minutes, 50, 57 seconds to be exact. Eight hours, 18 minutes. I'll take that. I said anything under 10 hours, I'll be happy with. So yeah, boom, done. Good day that was. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed it a lot. I'll come back next weekend then. Yeah, do it again. Do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Bank holiday tomorrow, do it again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, Mad. Oh God, no. Say it. No, Say it. Hit in the no. and ping the cringe. notification bell. Cringe. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. That's cringe. So I'm just going to go. Cheers. <laughs> what did you do? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.